This presentation was made possible by the Geospatial Analysis Lab at the University of San Francisco. We are analyzing the relationship between water quality and delta smelt habitat suitability. The San Francisco Bay Delta Estuary is home to the delta smelt and these tiny fish species are great indicator species of ecosystem health. Water quality characteristics such as freshwater inflow, temperature, dissolved oxygen, specific conductance, and amount of pollutants in waterways are critical factors that affect the number of fish that the Bay Delta Estuary can support. If, for instance, too much algae is present in the water, this would result in low dissolved oxygen levels, which can lead to suffocation of fish. Measuring fish abundance can be one way to gauge the environmental conditions of the estuary. A high population can be a good indicator of estuary health. Currently, delta smelt are listed as endangered because of human activities that cause an increase of pesticides discharging into the fish's estuary home, leading to the collapse of the delta smelt population. The delta smelt is a crucial species within the ecosystem and can lead to a rippling effect on other species that traditionally feed on them. The focus of the study is to understand what are the most suitable habitats within the San Francisco Bay Delta Estuary for delta smelt to thrive with the hopes of providing the best ecosystem management practices for environmental managers to pinpoint potential areas of interest that could be targeted to restore delta smelt. Efforts to restore these species could have a positive cascading effect on the ecosystem as a whole. To begin our analysis, we analyzed water quality data collected in the San Francisco Bay Delta. Using sample point measurements collected through the U.S. Geological Survey, we created maps of dissolved oxygen levels, temperature, pH, and specific conductance. With the water quality data, we interpolated these points into smooth maps to show these four specific water quality characteristics. The interpolation process took data measured at specific locations and predicted the value of the data set at every location between the measurements because it is not practical to collect data at every possible point. These figures show the kernel interpolation layers of the four different parameters within the San Francisco Bay Delta area. Using kernel interpolation, we were given a range of values symbolized by different colors to indicate dissolved oxygen, temperature, pH, and specific conductance water quality levels. Following this, we manually reclassified the data onto a similar scale to rank the habitat suitability. Through reclassification, we changed the values to be on a scale of 1 to 5, with 1 being the most suitable and 5 being the least suitable. We did this for all four water quality characteristics to prepare to weigh the layers. These figures depict the reclassified interpolation layers of the four parameters. With the reclassified values, we were able to finally use the weighted overlay tool to assign percent of relative importance for the four water quality characteristics. This flowchart of analytical steps illustrates the data inputs on the left and what modifications and geoprocessing steps were necessary to complete the analysis. Our final product shows a map representing high, medium, and low suitability for delta smelt. We found the most suitable habitat was in the Upper Bay Delta region where there was low specific conductance, dissolved oxygen levels were above five milligrams per liter, water temperature was below 25 degrees Celsius, and pH concentrations ranged from 7.8 to 8.1. Future projects might include additional water characteristics such as total nitrogen levels, salinity, and flow rate, and studying other endangered species that also utilize this body of water. Further research would help provide more insight on potential successful approaches for conservation managers and species recovery projects. We would like to thank and acknowledge the help of our GSAL professors, David, Hernanda, and Megan.